Welcome to the Breast Surgical Oncology Fellowship interviews here at St. John's Cancer Institute. My name is Jane Grumley. I'm the director of the program here at St. John's Cancer Institute. We were hoping that you could all visit us live. However, due to circumstances, we are still not doing in-person interviews yet. And we thought that this video may be helpful in giving you an overview of our program. The St. John's Cancer Institute is not a new institution, although most have not heard of it. Um, if you're from across the country, we really were the John Wayne Cancer Institute until very recently. So we have a very long history of training general surgical oncology fellows and breast fellows. Due to transition and, and changes in um, staff, um, there was a lull when it came to breast surgical oncology and that has since been revived with my arrival approximately three years ago, and we're excited to reinstate the Breast Fellowship Program here at the St. John's Cancer Institute. The Comprehensive Breast Program at St. John's is located both within the hospital at the St. John's Health Center, with the Breast Center being located in the basement, and we will be showing you a video to give you a better sense of the program itself. Right across the street of Santa Monica Boulevard is the St. John's Cancer Institute. This is where most of the research, both translational, clinical, and basic science occur. And then kitty corner to the hospital is our outpatient surgery center. All of this is located within close proximity and therefore the fellow will have easy access to all of the needed locations. Not only will they be having easy access to the clinical programs and the research programs, but you will also have close proximity to Santa Monica Beer and the Santa Monica Beaches and all of the conveniences associated with it. There's exciting plans for the South Campus build. This may not occur during your time. However, there have been significant moves forward. This here is the main hospital that is already currently present. And there are major plans to build um, in that South Campus to provide us with new um, exciting programs. The Breast Fellowship year is laid out like most other fellowship programs with most of your time being spent on breast surgery itself. There will be some equivalent rotations like plastic surgery and genetics will, it will be combined in a month process. However, we will expect you to have it and be equivalent of two weeks experience on each one of those. But it is a well-rounded comprehensive program that will be offered here at St. John's. This is a proposed rotation schedule with breast surgery um, splattered throughout the year with rehab, medical oncology, radiation oncology, breast imaging, pathology, and like I said, path plastics and genetics together with pathology and psycho-oncology and social work combined, um, and then research and community service. Our weekly conference schedules are pretty much set. We do have a very busy um, General Surgical Oncology Fellowship that is currently here with four fellows a year. And many of these didactic and conference schedules coincide with their learning experience as well. And you will have a community of fellows um, when you come here. On Mondays, we typically do multidisciplinary tumor board. At this time, it is still virtual. However, that lends itself to having access to a lot more um, attendings who can uh, participate. We are actually also in the midst of combining our tumor boards with St. Joe's over at Burbank at the Disney Family Cancer Center. Um, therefore, we feel that this will become a much more robust experience for all of us involved. Typically, Monday mornings are multidisciplinary breast cancer clinics where, where um, surgeons, medical oncologists, and radiation oncologists, along with radiologists, will go through each new cancer patient that um, is scheduled. There is a breast research meeting every other week from 12 to one o'clock, which allows a lot of the clinical and translational researchers to come together and discuss the current projects and help move that forward. Monday afternoons is typically journal club. Most of them will be um, breast related, the ones that you will participate in. Um, however, there are other ones that the General Surgical Oncology Fellows that will have, and you are more than welcome to participate if you are interested. Wednesdays are our grand rounds, typically between 5.30 and 6.30. And Thursday afternoons is our second multidisciplinary breast clinic. Fridays is really an education day for most 
of our fellows, we start with a breast review starting at 7 a.m. And that is combined with our general surgical oncology fellows as well. We do have fellows case conference and M&Ms that run from 7.30 to 9. And then a fellows research conference conference, which includes all of the general surgical oncology fellows as well, where we can actually discuss where each of the projects are at this time and how we can move things forward. It also gives the fellows an opportunity to present any other work that they may be uh, presenting in the future. Pathology conference and genetics conference typically happen between 10 and 11. And then there are some other collaborative uh, breast research meetings that will occur monthly. So this is a basic schedule of the week. Now, when we talk about our clinical programs, we really do take a multidisciplinary approach to our breast cancer patients. The fellows will be expected to participate in the multidisciplinary breast cancer um, clinic when you're on the breast surgery rotation, when you're on the medical oncology rotation, when you're on the radiation oncology rotation, and when you're on radiology. This does give a fellow a really nice perspective on a patient because you will hear from each of these different specialties on the same patient, as opposed to some, some other um, rotations, you might see one medical oncology patient, but then you might see somebody totally different when it comes to surgery. So this offers you this complete um, experience with the patient that's sitting in front of you understanding what we would do for surgery, what we would do when it comes to medical oncology and radiation and how it ties in with all of the radiology studies that have been performed. When you are on the breast surgery rotation, we do have surgical oncology fellows that will be rotating with us. Um, and the, the plan is for the surgical oncology fellows to rotate when the breast fellow is not on the breast surgery service. There will only be one month in which there may be overlap, and that will typically be either October or November since it's the busiest month on breast surgery, and there is more than enough cases to go around. When we talk about call, if you are on breast surgery, the fellow on breast surgery will be taking the call, so whether that's a surgical oncology fellow or a breast fellow. When there are two on the service, we can then um, have the fellows decide how they want to divvy up the call. Uh, in all honesty, breast call is not onerous in the sense that there isn't significant um, emergencies. However, there are some phone calls that may come in. As for weekend calls, the breast fellow will be uh, expected to take the weekend calls uh, while they are on breast surgery rotation. While they're not on breast surgery rotation, our general surgical oncology fellows will be taking those weekend calls. And there's a rotation that, that, uh, that they set up. You will be given three weeks of vacation. Obviously, you will be interviewing um, for your job opportunities during this time. And hopefully, this is more than sufficient for you to be able to get um, what you need done. There is a new optional paid general surgery call if you wish to take it. Um, and we can give you more information if you are interested in that. You do not have to take any general surgery call while you're here on the Breast Fellowship. However, if you do want to sign up for the optional paid call, uh, you may do so. As for the core faculty, when it comes to surgery, um, there's myself um, who trained at uh, USC, Dr. Trevin Fisher, who is a general surgical oncology uh, trained attending uh, from the John Wayne Cancer Institute, and then Crystal Fancher, who is also trained uh, here, at, uh, trained at USC for her fellowship. On the breast surgery rotation, you will get a large breadth of um, experience. Obviously, the surgical treatment of both benign and malignant lesions will be discussed. Uh, we do ultrasound localizations on a majority of our cases. Um, we do have the technology available to place a hologic wireless localizer if needed. However, as you will see on our rotations, uh, many of our lesions can be ultrasound localized um, and that saves our patients the additional procedure. Uh, there is a number of percutaneous procedures and the thing that we are actually most proud of is the breadth of level one and level two oncoplastic breast surgery cases that you will be able to do. We do not have any residents and we do not have any medical students that rotate with us. And so these cases are yours 
um, and you will be learning hands-on how to do those oncoplastic cases. And then uh, management of local recurrence and um, intraoperative radiation therapy. Here is just a few of the cases from 2020 to 2021. Keep in mind that these are cases during the pandemic um, and are probably a little bit on the low side. The one thing that I wanna highlight is the number of mastopexies, mammoplasties, reduction mammoplasties, and nipple reconstructions that we actually do on the breast surgery service with the breast surgeons um, as part of the oncoplastic procedures that we do. Here's just a few examples if you haven't been exposed to oncoplastic surgery. On the top right is a patient who has a cancer up here in the uh, upper inner quadrant. And you can see it's using an oncoplastic mastopexy. She has an excellent cosmetic result. Here's another patient who has an upper outer quadrant cancer. Um, using a rapid mammoplasty, you can see that we can get some excellent res cosmetic results with um, wide resection around the cancer. Patient in the lower, um, Left here, she had actually two cancers and using extreme oncoplastic surgery, you can actually provide her with a uh, reduction mammoplasty, which allowed us to widely resect both cancers and provide her with a nice cosmetic outcome. And then here on the lower, uh, lower right is a patient who has a cancer right behind her nipple, obviously with retraction of the nipple complex. There is a technique that we have um, reported on, which is the immediate nipple reconstruction using the tissue that we have available um, and using a what's called a neo-areolar reduction mammoplasty with immediate nipple reconstruction. And you can see we can provide patients with pretty impressive um, cosmetic outcomes, wide resection of the cancer without the need of an implant or tissue reconstruction. Our medical oncology faculty include Dr. Parvin Petty, Dr. Grace Chang, and Dr. Karen Nishikubo. Dr. Parvin Petty recently joined us from UCLA, and she's our um, breast dedicated medical oncologist who actually has her clinic right in the Margie Peterson Breast Center. Um, she is a um, clinical researcher along with a clinician, and therefore you will be working hand in hand with her in many um, cases. Dr. Chang and Dr. Nishikubo are general medical oncologists who are very busy um, with predominantly breast practices. They are located in the building next door to us. However, they do come over into the multidisciplinary clinic here um, at the Margie Peterson Breast Center. You will get a wide breadth of um, experience in medical oncology, talking about risks and benefits of systemic therapy options, current treatment options, molecular profiling, and also novel therapies. Dr. Petty will be bringing on um, industry um, clinical trials and therefore we will be exposed to many of the opportunities for novel treatments. Radiation oncology uh, is actually located next door to the Margie Peterson Breast Center. And Dr. Woolman and Dr. Chaikin are our radiation oncologists that predominantly do the breast cases. You will get an uh, exposure to simulation treatment planning, uh, treatment delivery, and have a good discussion regarding the chronic and um, acute effects of radiation therapy. One of the things that you will get exposure to is the intraoperative radiation therapy that is offered here at St. John's Cancer Institute, along with other novel techniques. In radiology, we do have actually four radiologists, but Dr. Mund and Dr. Kirsch are predominantly uh, breast radiologists that are there um, most days. Luckily, we do, like I said, do not have any uh, radiology residents or uh, fellows that are present, and therefore they are dedicated to teaching our breast fellows. We do have a complete breadth of imaging um, modalities using tomosynthesis, ABES, handheld complete breast ultrasound, MRIs, um, and then off the large offering of diagnostic uh, imaging as well. We are excited to have our breast fellow work with these radiologists so that they can get hands-on experience with ultrasound guided, stereotactic and MRI guided biopsies as well. The other rotations that you'll be experiencing include the breast health clinic, this is a dedicated nurse practitioner on breast health clinic. We run it kind of like an urgent care. Any patient who has any lumps or bumps, 
that needs to be worked up can be seen within a 24 to 48 hour period so that they can get their issues addressed. She also sees patients who are there for high risk screening and follows those patients over time and therefore you will have a great experience um, seeing and working up benign and um, acute breast issues. This will be paired up with breast rehab and physical therapy, and therefore you will have an opportunity to, to help patients um, assess range of motion, lymphedema care, and other things that may be related to post-breast cancer surgery um, rehabilitation. As I said before, plastics and reconstruction will be combined with our genetics program, um, and that will give you an opportunity to gain the best experience in both when uh, cases come up. And then uh, towards the end of the year, you will be dedicated to pathology, psycho-oncology, and social work service. And I'll go into that. The supportive services and physical therapy um, is really run by um, Dr. Um, Rebecca Crane Okada, who is our nurse uh, specialist. She runs uh, many of our uh, wellness programs. And then Diana Garrett is a physical therapist that works with most of our uh, breast cancer patients. Under re physical therapy and rehab, lymphedema treatment, courting, range of motion, and you will get a sense of all of that over a four week period. As I've explained before, the Breast Health Clinic is run by Tara Kays, our nurse practitioner, which allows for uh, breast symptom workup, high risk breast evaluation, and then she does follow our patients after breast cancer, so you will see some long term follow up and survivorship, or what we like to call thrivership patients. Plastics reconstruction um, faculty are going to be Dr. Grunwald, Dr. Livia, and Dr. Zampel. Dr. Grunwald and Dr. Livia are locally. Um, has been in the community for a very long time and does a lot of breast reconstruction, predominantly implant-based. And then Dr. Zampel just joined us probably about three years ago, who does amazing work with autologous reconstruction. So you will have a, uh, you'll get to experience a wide breadth of reconstruction options. Over that time, like I said, you will have the opportunity to work up patients and discuss what might be the best options for reconstruction and then participate in um, their reconstruction. The plan is that throughout your surgical rotations, even while you're on breast surgery, if there are reconstructive cases, you will also have the opportunity to stay with them and complete those reconstruction um, procedures. Genetics, we're really fortunate to have Dr. Ora Gordon, um, who runs our gen medical genetics program. They are located, um, predominantly out of the Disney Cancer, the Disney Family Cancer Center. However, Dr. Ora Gordon does come over to our Margie Peterson Breast Center um, on occasion to uh, see our patients. She does have full-time genetic counselors, however, at the Margie Peterson Breast Center who will see our patients as part of multidisciplinary clinic or as needed. We're excited to launch our CARES program. So it's a comprehensive assessment risk education program for all of our patients who undergo screening mammography to assess for possible hereditary risk and um, offer those patients testing. Our pathology department, um, they have been uh, here since um, the Giuliano days, or at least many of them have been here since the Giuliano days and have had a wide experience with breast cases. Um, Dr. Takasumi uh, really takes the lead when it comes to the breast pathology, um, and they provide a, an excellent education program for our fellows. You will be participating while you're on pathology and weekly tumor boards, um, didactic courses that's given with the general um, surgical oncology fellows. You will get hands-on experience engrossing and reviewing cases, and then hopefully throughout the year, you will be able to, as, a, as you do these operations, review those cases with our pathologists and Psycho-oncology and social work services are um, available. Um, our social workers are located, um, co-located in the Cancer Institute or the Cancer Center. Um, and uh, Shati Bornathan is our psycho-oncologist who actually um, can take care of any of our, our patients who are struggling with their cancer diagnosis. Um, and you will have an opportunity to rotate with them. 
Uh, like I said, Dr. Um, Rebecca Crane Okada does a lot of our supportive services. We are very proud of our Thrivership program, which provides uh, a nutrition program for all of our cancer high risk patients. There's heart mapping, meditation, and a creative writing classes. And there are so many others that are kind of coming down the pipe. Community outreach is important. We um, do a number of events throughout the year, including Making Strides, um, the uh, Spread the Love Luncheon in the past, Think Pink event here at uh, St. John's Health Center and Cancer Institute. Uh, there is a lecture series that we tend to give at the uh, Santa Monica Library and the Cancer Supportive Services. So as a fellow, we will be um, inviting you to participate in all of those events. Research is a big part of the St. John's Cancer Institute. Um, we do have a comprehensive breast database available to our fellows so that they can have easy access to data. Uh, there are a number of collaborative trials. We are part of the Alliance and therefore you will um, participate in enrolling patients in some of these collaborative trials. And then we have a number of investigator initiated clinical trials that's happening here on campus. Uh, we are in the middle of bringing on some industry trials as Dr. Part uh, Petty um, continues to work on that, um, so you will have exposure to that as well. As I've said before, we do meet on a regular basis to talk about research opportunities, and as a fellow, we would expect you to actively participate in that as well. When you arrive, you will get a breast fellowship handbook, which will go over a lot of these um, important pieces of information, how to contact your faculty member, the rotation, the objectives and goals of each rotation, there is going to be an outline didactic schedule, um, the rotation schedule, and all of the policies that are associated with the program. The didactic course um, has been given to the General Surgical Oncology Fellows, and we will continue to do that. Um, for, uh, in the past, we've done it every other week, or at once a month, excuse me, um, because it's a two-year program. However, once the Breast Fellow starts, we will be doing it as a weekly 30-minute uh, course. There are other educational opportunities. Obviously, the Fellows Institute, we would allow um, our breast fellow to participate in. And then each one of our fellows has a $3,000 grant um, allotted for education stipend, which can be used for conferences and travel. All of the fellows will be completing evaluations of all of the attendings, and all of the supervising attendings will be evaluating all of the fellows. All of the evaluations will be mixed with the General Surgical Oncology Fellows, and therefore, it will remain anonymous. Here is a brief video that will give you a sense of the physical location of our breast program. Welcome to the Surgical Breast Oncology Fellowship at St. John's Cancer Institute, formerly the John Wayne Cancer Institute and Providence St. John's Health Center located in sunny Santa Monica, California. Our comprehensive breast center is located in the main hospital in the garden level. Check-in is convenient for patients right next to our radiology department. This makes it very easy for patients to get their imaging done and see their provider on the same day. We have multiple exam rooms with ultrasounds available in each room, which allows for bedside diagnostics. Our breast center houses our surgical oncologists, a dedicated breast medical oncologist, and our breast health and high-risk clinics run by our nurse practitioner who is a dedicated breast specialist. Our workroom houses our nurse navigators and physicians along with our nurse practitioner which allows them to work closely together. Our fellows are also located in this room and have their own space and computer to participate actively in patient care. We spend uh, three months between our first and second years on this service. I'm in my second year now so now I've gotten the flow of how everything works um, and it is a robust experience to say the least. Um, there are more cases than then we can cover as a single person on this case and quite often we have to get other general surgery oncology fellows to step in. Um, I didn't have a, a, a great background in true oncoplastic breast surgery um, and residency. We did um, things that were that were called that but not to the extent that um, we do here. If minor procedures need to be performed, we have two procedure rooms in our cancer center that allow for outpatient procedures outside of the operating room. Our infusion center, located in our cancer center, has been recently constructed and will be able to house multiple patients undergoing chemotherapy for their breast cancer. 
Our genetics department is also located in our breast center. Patients can see them as part of the high-risk program or as part of their cancer diagnosis. We love our proximity to our imaging department. We have multiple 3D tomosynthesis mammogram machines along with multiple ultrasounds. We have capabilities for both stereotactic and ultrasound guided breast biopsies. Two radiologists are reading films daily and are actively participating in our patient care. One major benefit of our program is there are no radiology residents or fellows competing for biopsies or cases, and our radiologists are committed to training our surgical breast oncology fellows. Our MRI machine is located over at Tower St. John's Imaging and is located only a couple blocks away. This is also where our MRI guided biopsies take place. Our multidisciplinary clinic is an important part of our breast cancer care. We meet Monday mornings and Thursday afternoons. Patients can see a surgical oncologist, a medical oncologist, and a radiation oncologist all at one appointment. They're also able to meet with genetics if needed, along with our research team. We love our collaborative approach to patients, and we meet at each one of these clinics to review imaging, pathology, and come up with a cohesive plan for our patients. We also appreciate the proximity to our radiation oncology department. Patients have access to both of our radiation oncologists with expertise in breast radiation. We have multiple treatment rooms for patients as they're undergoing their radiation treatments. Another unique aspect of our program is our use of intraoperative radiation, which can save carefully selected patients from multiple weeks of radiation with a one-time intraoperative dose of radiation during their breast conserving surgery. Fellows here have the opportunity to work alongside our pathologists. They are located near the breast center on the garden level. Fellows can review their cases, both benign and malignant, and learn about the nuances of breast pathology. The pathology grossing room and frozen section machines are located right next to the operating rooms and allow for easy communication between the surgeon and pathologist during intraoperative consultations. Operating rooms are located on the second floor of our main hospital. This is where we perform many of our procedures, including our intraoperative radiation therapy. Another unique aspect of our program is that our breast surgical oncologists use oncoplastic techniques during most of their cancer operations. Our surgical oncology fellows have found there's so much exposure to oncoplastic surgery that many are comfortable using oncoplastic techniques once they graduate from this program. While the main OR is generally utilized for our larger cases and those involving IORT, Many of our outpatient surgeries take place just across the street at our ambulatory surgery center. The St. John's Cancer Institute, formerly the John Wayne Cancer Institute, is located right across the street from our main hospital. Here we have multiple conference rooms which allow for our fellows conference and education opportunities as well as our research conferences. We also have weekly breast tumor boards that currently remain virtual. The institute is also where most of our research is conducted. We are proud of the many novel approaches and treatments that have been pioneered here, such as the sentinel lymph node biopsy. The fellows also have an area where they can collaborate with the surgical oncology fellows, as well as their own space for their research and other activities. While we have a dedicated breast medical oncologist in our breast center, we have other medical oncology colleagues who come to our multidisciplinary clinics and their offices are located conveniently next door. And I've really enjoyed my time in Southern California. As you can tell, I'm not from here originally. And I know I've been here a year and a half and it really has a, a quite a bit to offer as far as restaurants and venues and travel and things of that nature. And if you're gonna have to spend another year of training after you get done with your general surgery training, it might as well be somewhere that has a lot to offer. We are so proud of everything we can do here at St. John's. One of the greatest things about our hospital is really that it has a small community feel with a big academic ability. Located here in beautiful Santa Monica, California, we have great proximity to the beaches, wonderful restaurants, entertainment, and great weather. We are really excited to be educating the next generation of breast surgeons and we hope to see you in person one day. If you do have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to answer any of your questions as they come up. Thank you again for considering our program and we look forward to meeting you.